I'm at the University of Birmingham to meet Rosalind Davis, a chemical engineer who's researching an alternative form of energy for cleaner, greener transport. And I don't mean cycling, although as well as being an engineer, Rosalind is on the British triathlon team. I met up with her after a training session to find out more about her job. How important is this issue of renewable energy? So it's really important. Um, currently driving cars powered by fossil fuels, um, it's really bad for the environment uh, locally because especially diesel cars produce particulates and they make sort of soot and local pollution and smog. Um, but also burning fossil fuels produces carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas and is a cause of climate change. Instead of using fossil fuels, uh, we can use other kinds of fuel. Um, so, like this car, we use hydrogen as a fuel instead of petrol. There are other alternatives to hydrogen, um, including electricity. Um, so that's what you'd use if you had a battery car. And the benefit of hydrogen is that you can store more hydrogen than you can electricity in the same amount of space. So that means that you can go further in a hydrogen car than you can in an electric car. But at the moment, it's quite expensive. And that's because hydrogen is a gas and the hydrogen molecules like to get as far away from each other as possible. And that means that it's quite difficult to get them into a small space to fit inside a car. So the technologies that we have to do that at the moment are quite expensive. And that's why hydrogen cars at the moment are quite expensive. How much space? So if you wanted um, a, a car to go, the kind of journey that a petrol car could go, how much space do you need to store that enough hydrogen? So currently, if you compress it as a gas, um, you're looking at a tank sort of about this big. <laughs> um, but with new technologies, we should be able to get it smaller. Can you go as fast? Or how, how does it compare with a petrol car? So because the hydrogen cars are, use electric motors as well, um, they have faster acceleration than a petrol car. Um, so in that way, they're actually better. <laughs> car companies like Hyundai um, have already made fuel cell cars that are commercially available. Um, so you can buy them already if you want to. It looks just like a normal car. You wouldn't really notice it from outside. Um, but they, crucially, they sound different. Um, you wouldn't be able to hear the, the engine running. My research is looking at different ways of storing hydrogen. So uh, currently, hydrogen is stored by sort of squeezing all of the gas molecules together to try and get them as close as possible. But my research adds in metals and they act almost like a, a rack for the hydrogen molecules to sit in. And this means that you can get much more hydrogen into a smaller space. But unfortunately, adding these metal atoms um, makes the whole system heavier. So I'm researching ways to try and make lighter systems that store the hydrogen. So you're storing it in a smaller space and it weighs less, so it won't um, slow your car down. If you were going into research now, into the renewable energy world, <laughs> um, you could research on anything from um, the production of hydrogen, the storage, um, or the use in a fuel cell, um, and new compounds to be used within a fuel cell to make it more efficient. Um, but anything, really. <laughs>